was sad. Promise me you won't tell. He said, Just promise me you won't tell. If I take you to the hotel, he said, Promise me you won't tell. He said, Promise me you won't tell. He said, Just promise me you won't tell. If I take you to the hotel, uh, things are so intimate. I used to be so innocent until you touched me in a spot that made me hot. And ever since, nothing really made sense. Grooming is um, the procedures that an offender would go through to, um, to make the, the intended victim more compliant, uh, to get the individual, uh, the child, to go along with it or at least not protest, not, be, uh, not run away, not fight, not resist. And so grooming is all those procedures to make the child pliable, so to speak. I would just be friendly, play, have, have you know, uh, I had him come over to have some uh, uh, brownies, uh, give them, give them, give them some brownies, and, and ha let them have colors and crayons, and do some artwork. And you know, first it starts out that way. And the grooming can be uh, all sorts of things. Um, the individual or the predator could start off by uh, finding opportunities to spend time with the child that would be in excess of what you'd reasonably expect. Uh, of someone who knew the mother only that period of time. Um, offer to do babysitting, offer to watch the kids while the mother uh, goes runs an errand. Offers to take the child to go do an activity. Um, and at that point just gets friendly with the child, uh, gets to know the child. I was groomed as a child. My abusers were, they weren't strangers. They were, they were people close to me. They were people that I trusted, people that my family liked, people that were important people in my life. They were close to me. It, it starts very slow. People have an idea that if someone's sexually abused, they're grabbed off the street and stolen away, and it's physically violent. For most people like me, it's a very gradual process that the pedophile gets to know the child, Pedophiles are patient. They take their time. They develop a relationship. And, you know, they earn the trust of the child. They earn the trust of the family. I think that a perpetrator, when they start to groom a child, they want to see how far that they can take it until, and then they will slowly progress into doing different things and seeing how far they can go and seeing if the child will disclose or tell. The pedophile or the predator will trap the child by I get, you were smoking, you were drinking. You saw this a lot with the Boy Scouts. So then it's, you know, if you tell, I'll tell them you were smoking, smoking dope and they're gonna see it if I test you for drugs. So it's how can I trap these children in any way, shape or form that I can? And it's a constant path of lies and deceit that starts so innocently that children can't, they can't pick it up and that's why they fall victim so quickly to a pedophile.